Hi everyone, in this video, I'll guide you through the process of creating a Google Cloud account and getting $300 in free credits. Let's get started. So hi guys, this is my new video in Hush channel. So guys, first, you need to log into the Google Cloud platform. Open your browser and go to the Google Cloud interface at cloud.google.com. Once you're there, click on the register for next button to begin the sign up process. I make sure you're logged into your Google account before proceeding. So I go in my console. You can see my created projects dot dot if you're not worrying because you not created early this are not to view. Sometime you can see default project I think. This is M, Y dashboard OG Google console dot Google is very high performance workspace created for us to work. On the dashboard, you can see an overview of your project billing summary, API and services usage, project info and others. If you check your billing account overview, you'll see the $300 credits provided by Google. These credits are available for 90 days, which is about three months. During this period, you can use Google Cloud services for free up to the $300 limit. After the 90-day trial, or if you use up all the credits, you'll need to upgrade your account and start paying for the services you use. So, I've already set up my payment method in Google Cloud. Now, I'll guide you step by step on how to set up the payment method for your new Google Cloud account after creating it. Let's get started. Now, you'll see the try for free button on this interface. If you are new to use this and we got a message to get permission for use this Google console. If you need to get notification on emails and tick after this tick. You need to go bill in section of this type. Click this button and go to next. Select your country and agree. Now you need to add your payment details with Phil. This is the create a payments profile page in Google Cloud, where you set up the payment details for your account. Profile type, choose between individual or organization. You are developer, you can choose individual and this select after other field types are changed. Add you details all are required. Last field they ask your postal code and check your postal code and set it with select your location. Add your postal code and create button click. Now you must need to include your payment details like card details add. Add and fill this sections dot in Sri Lankan all person can use Bank of Salon, People Bank or any other card debit or credit card can add. Now you can see error like action unsuccessful, if you see this error. Error message can see code part dot it can change like after number 34, 44 or etc. I can tell you to fix this issue correctly. You need to go to GCP account suspension inquiry section. I will add this page link to redirect in description section. Add your name and other details correctly to fill. Enter the email address associated with your Google Cloud account. Remember that you need to check your mail and connect with developers with Google. They ask your details in Gmail. If the issue is about billing or payments, add your billing account ID. You can find it in the billing section of the console. Don't worry you don't know billing account and not fill it. Write a clear and detailed description of the issue you're facing. Include the error code for example, or underscore BACR2 underscore 34. Steps you took before encountering the issue. Any troubleshooting steps you've already tried.
The error code, for example, OR underscore BACR2 underscore 34. Edit your error code. Next, ask they what purpose of choose this and add why using to cloud choose example add like study or developing purpose. Add your have or like web purpose, etc. Add country your work with like cloud account used for. Additional info and submit this form. Check you mail responded mail came and check and tell them to kindly fix to help this issue. Note any specific actions they've asked you to take, such as updating information or trying a different method. If they provided a solution, implement it step by step. For example, payment issues, verify your payment details, try a different card, or resolve verification errors as suggested. Account setup. Ensure all required fields are completed correctly or resend the requested documents. Communicate further if necessary. If their solution doesn't resolve the issue, reply to their response. Provide updated information, screenshots, or details of what still isn't working. Ask for further clarification if instructions are unclear. After completing the steps, log into the Google Cloud Console and check. So they get simple payment like $1 like 200 rupees in our bank account and next verification code. The payment provider for example, Google, your bank, or payment processor will generate a transaction record. This transaction will appear in your bank statement or online transaction history, verification code, showing the amount paid, the date, and a description of the transaction. You can view this type verification code like six digit in code dot it came in your bank account statement with this type dot enter it in your verification code field. Once the verification code is correctly entered and validated, the process is completed successfully. So all did correctly and we can see our paid account and updated like Firebase can see pay as you go account mode eat. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate each and every one of you for your time and support. If you enjoyed the content, don't forget to hit that like button, share it with your friends, and subscribe to the channel for more awesome. I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit, I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up. I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit, I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up and make a statement. I don't ever